So for today, we're going to be looking at Acting War Rig. This did get asked for not too long ago. And this one, we're going to be seeing Acting War Rig, how it shaders, a uh, example set that I made, and the ornament as well. We're going to be following the same steps. If you guys haven't seen, I've already made a video for Capri's Horn. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have it up right now. We go through essentially what we're going to go through in this video where we look at how the exotic looks, if it has an ornament, and then how it shaders and an example set as well. So this one's going to be a little different because I am going to go into the game and show you like some of the problems I had with this one because this one is rough. I'm going to be real with you guys, uh, at least for females. I don't know if for for males, but for female Titans, it's pretty rough considering the chest piece looks really small. But if that is also a problem for our Titan males, then let me know in the comments below. I definitely would like to know. Just because, again, this one was really rough for me. The base look of it, not so much the the ornament. I think the ornament's super cool, but it also does it. But it also is small. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's actually look at what it does. Auto loading link steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles or machine guns magazine from reserves. Provides a moderate benefit to the airborne effect instead of auto rifles and machine guns. So. This one is not super like flashy or like crazy as other exotics, but it is a really good one considering if you're using an auto rifle or a machine gun, you can essentially shoot for almost forever depending how much ammo you have. And if not almost like for like a minute straight, it's really wild, especially with certain auto rifles or machine guns that have a perk that also just gives you ammo back periodically. Then at that point, you're, you're going to be shooting for a while. I'm specifically talking about like fourth times a charm, triple tap. One of my favorites would be reconstruction. Another good one would probably be like rewind rounds. So if you have any of that, any, if you have any of those on your auto rifle or machine gun, then essentially you're just going to be shooting forever. I really like this exotic because my clan really does use machine guns quite a bit for a lot of encounters. So I don't, I'm not a Titan man, so I don't use this as much as I would like to, but to be fair, you would also just be using a, an exotic that has like a damage perk for your super so specifically there's one for solar and one for arc so at that point like would you switch switch one of those out for actium war rig that's the biggest question right here so let me know what you guys think as for how it actually looks it does look really cool my biggest gripe about it is i wish they make made it a little bit bulkier and what i mean by that is this is supposed to be like like a war machine type chess piece where it has a bunch of ammo and stuff. I would have liked it if it, if it, the design reflected that as well, like more ammo types, uh, maybe some grenades, like just make it bulky and super just like <clears throat> tanky looking. My other big gripe is the fact that this is just a general theme that I have with Titans is that I don't like chess pieces that don't cover your neck, the back of your neck specifically. Just because for me, when, when a Titan has a chest piece that covers the back of their neck, they look super bulky and, and intimidating. So that pretty much just goes for any chest piece. As for how it shaders. So the one thing I do want to say about the shadering is the fact that I, unfortunately, those shells on the front do not change color. So that light blue is just going to be there forever, which is very unfortunate because, uh, it, it clashes, it clashes with a lot of things that I have. So that's like my biggest gripe. The other thing is the fact that. The like ammo belt in the back also doesn't change color, but it is in the back. So the most people won't notice it. But for people like me who was like, oh, I notice it. it's like, yeah, I feel it because like the orange and the blue, it, I don't know, just the fact that the shells don't change color is really aggravating. As for the example set, I ended up going for something very sleek and very like, I don't know, like, like, un like undercover soldier type thing because we're using the Eidolon Pursuant Helm, which is one of my favorite helmets if we're going for a tactical look. The arms is going to be the Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets just because I wanted something small. Uh, for the legs, Hardened Basilisk leg plates because again, something small. And then Intrepid Exploit Mark because the there's a lot of stuff on the chest piece and I wanted a lot of stuff on the belt as well. So you see a grenades and in, an actual holster with I think a gun is in there as well. But I actually really do like this one. Arrowball's glance for this one because obviously we're going for a tactical look, look kind of like an undercover type thing or just going in the in the in the brink of midnight just like trying to kill something or take something either way i like this set we are going to look at it in the actual game because there are a few things that i would like to talk about but let me know what you guys think about this one as for the ornament it's called grants vicksburg i definitely think this looks way better than the base look just because there is a lot of packs on the front of the stomach, which means it's going to look bulky with certain pieces. Um, I think the bullets are really cool. The fact that they chose actual bullets, so like the bronze, 
brass, brass, brass. I think it's brass. Uh, the brass looks really cool, and I think it's way better than the blue shells. It just looks kind of, look kind of goofy in my opinion. And overall, I do really like this ornament. My only gripe again is the fact that I wish it was just bulkier in the back. Other than that, I think it looks really cool. As for how it shaders. As for the example set, I am not the biggest fan of this one because of the arms and we will switch that out when we look at the example or when we go into the game. But for the helmet, Deep Explorer helmet is where we're using. I actually think this looks pretty cool with the actual chest piece. I think it looks cool. The arms, Sunbreak Gauntlets is the one piece I'm like, it doesn't look good. And I think I've explained it before, but I'm not the biggest fan of Sunbreak Gauntlets because of the pauldrons. They don't look like they're part of your arms. I don't know if any of you guys have seen um, that like beetle force. I don't remember what it's called, but it was like basically Power Rangers, but beetles. And what was it? Wait, was it was it in Power Rangers that there were beetles? Power Rangers. Either way, there there is this um, this Zoid that the shoulders would come off and they would become your boots. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It looks like it's just gonna come out and go into my feet like boots. And that's like my biggest thing. It doesn't look like they're attached to your shoulders. It just looks like they're just floating on your shoulders. So I've never really been a big fan of the Sunbreak Gauntlets. Like you guys can go through all of my fashion that I've made in this channel and I've made quite a bit. You guys will see that I've never used the Sunbreak Gauntlets just because I think they look terrible. Um, we're going to be using Wildwood Greaves for the boots. I think the boots look really cool with this set just because it is tactical looking because of the net on the hip. And overall, I really do like it. And then the TM Cogburn custom because uh, there's plate on the deck. It's a small one or vagina, I should say, because my Titan's a girl. And then there's a bunch of bags everywhere on the belt. So that's why I'm using that. And most likely we'll be using that one when we go into the game, which let's just get into it. So this is the first one. I'm not the biggest fan of this one specifically because it doesn't look tactical like the boots look tactical, which is probably something we would keep there. But the arms is something we would have to switch out. But the thing is, we don't have any tactical looking like arms for the Titans. The only ones I would say would be this one just because of the bullets um, on the arms. But again, I don't like these aren't like the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads look way too goofy for me. I was thinking this one. This one is pretty cool. Um, I just don't like these right here. This is, I don't like to see them when I'm in the game because you will see them in the game and I'm just not the biggest fan of it. That's why I didn't, that's why I rarely ever use it. And if I did end up using it or someone was like, I actually liked it, then I would tell you to combine it with this helmet over here, which is what I do here. So this is something you could do just because the camera, both of them are right there. And I just think it's cool because they're on the opposite ends, but there's it's honestly the biggest problem I have is just arms. Uh, I never find anything that looks really good tactical wise. Like I know people are going to tell me this one, which granted I can see it. I just don't like that. It's fucking massive on one side. That's like my biggest issue. Um, even if, even if it was symmetrical, I wouldn't like it just because I don't think it's good. I think uh, they could have just not had this and then just put this one there. I think that would have been better maybe, but not the biggest fan of the Thunderhead stuff. Uh, maybe this one with a different shader for sure, just because I don't like the orange. But it doesn't scream tactical to me, which is why I didn't use it. And again, there's just not a lot. You could use this one and this one would probably be the best choice just because uh, for those of you who know, it's, this is supposed to be like a, like an exoskeleton type thing. So that's why it makes sense in my head. And also there's armor. It makes sense. I would probably just switch out the helmet. Probably not. Honestly, I don't really care about using two pieces in the same set, but um, shader wise, I probably would switch it out for something a little bit better or find a shader that actually turns the chest piece black because that is another problem that I didn't mention is that this one shader is lighter than everything else. So that's going to be a big issue for some people. Definitely me. I find it fucking aggravating. 
because you guys will notice that that's not a true red that's like a very light red you guys will know yeah right there so i would probably just tell you maybe this would be really good yeah um so you're gonna want to use shaders that combine everything into one solid color so omnicronia would be a good one too Ooh, oh that's light what about what about dreaming spectrum yeah dreaming spectrum looks way better with it so i probably would just combine it with dreaming spectrum granted it makes no sense considering i'm going for a tactical look so you would go for a darker colors but at this point i who cares like this looks super dope as for the example set or the example set for the this one uh i'm not even gonna go through the arms because i did not like the arms on my first one so we'll do where are you where are you um this one for the boots we're using this one then for the markers so this is the let's actually go for oh i actually didn't explain the shader was a uh, gambit celadon because if you guys don't know gambit celadon has a a like camo looking thing so that's why i'm using it you can get, barely see it here but yeah so for this one i probably i actually don't think this looks bad like the arms actually look pretty good with it i think the helmet's the only thing that kind of bugs me but i mean I'll probably do something like this this actually doesn't look bad to me but that one screams more racer than anything else so i probably would switch it like maybe this one this one looks actually pretty decent unfortunately it's wildwood so it's going to be both for those of you that are bugged by it but i'm like i said i don't really care but i do think it's a little bit too wide for the chest piece so i would most likely just do this one and go for the combo that I just told you about because I think it's gonna look cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Again, the only thing is if you can like mine that, then this look this set looks really cool because again, the mark is gonna be really cool. A lot of bags, so a lot of ammo right there. <clears throat> but if you don't want that one, you can definitely use the one that this one intrepid, just because we have grenades, we have a rope, we have more bags, and then we have a holster. So definitely do that one. I just like the fact that. Cob Cobborn, 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 Cogborn, Cogburn. There we go. Jesus. Um, this one <clears throat> has a plate in the front, which means more protection, but also the bags. A lot of it is just bags, 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 and that just makes sense to me. So honestly, the helmet and the arms would probably probably be the worst pieces for me, just because I don't know what I would go for. Actually, let me see this one. I don't mind that let me let me see if i can find some better arms because then because this is like my biggest issue is like finding arms that are tactical and we don't have a lot of that in the game <sighs> yeah it looks too thin like it looks too top heavy i guess yeah i think the arms are too small and this is like my how i how i go about stuff just trying to see if i can find something cool i think i need bigger arms to offset the helmet because the helmet's pretty bulky this one's not bad either but if i do that one then i might as well go for the uh, eververse one instead this one right here yeah because this doesn't look bad um you definitely would want to be armored up if you're going for a tactical look um yeah this doesn't look bad again let me know what you guys think i usually don't do these in, in, or do this in the videos just because i feel like it takes too much time but i have noticed pe some people actually do like this because it helps them like think about it's not bad that's definitely not bad um but it almost looks like my arms are prosthetics which i also i don't think i don't think that's crazy i think that's cool though like hmm, i don't know let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys um titans warlocks hunters let me know what you guys are going to be wanting for exotics or anything else if you guys want me to look at a certain armor set like specifically when i say armor set I literally mean if you guys want me to go through like for example the wing discipline thing uh set for all of the classes i will definitely do that don't ask for the warlock stuff because the helmet's the only good piece i'm just kidding ask for whatever you want and i will try to do a set with all the pieces um but that's what i mean when i say uh, any armor set as well because that's what i literally mean so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later